everybody. So today we're going to try Double Cherry Circumpolar Cyclone. This is from Hot Butcher. Thank you to Hot Butcher for sending this. I will leave their website link down below. Citra Mos ah, Simcoe, I almost said Mosaic, Hopped Milkshake Double India Pale Ale Brewed with Cherry and Vanilla. 9.5% ABV, canned on 3.822. So almost two months old from this recording. Let's go ahead and get this open, get it into a glass and see what we think. This one is straight out of the fridge. Most of the time you're gonna drink milkshake IPAs. Cold, so I did not let this one warm up. Um, I, I left this in the fridge. I've done two other ones and most of the time with these, well, any hot butcher beer, um, I'll make them like my third review and I'll put them out when I start just so they warm up a little but I figured Let's try a milkshake cold like you usually get it. So um, White pink ish type of head not very Much bubbles. I don't know why I'm stuttering um uh, about a quarter finger of head it is going down I'm guessing it's the cherries uh, that are making the head go down um color like a dirty red color very very hazy can't see through it um, you guys are seeing a little eh? I would say we're the same color we're seeing the same color especially down in here up here it's a little bit more purple like a lighter purple until the light hits it the right way. So I would say a dirty light red color. Dark cherries. Yeah, go with that. Okay, let's go ahead and smell. Hmm. I was thinking this was going to be blasting with cherries and vanilla. I get the vanilla. It comes off like a lactose more than it does a vanilla, but I understand like a sweetness. Um, I, I really don't get cherry. I can't even tell you what I get. It's almost like a bland vanilla lactose sweet in there. Uh... I think if I was doing this one blind, I would say with a hint of passion fruit in there. It's almost like a, a, a fermented fruit. Um, maybe a touch of dankness, but I don't think I could say cherry. So let's go ahead and taste. Milkshake IPA, uh, you can tell. Um, it's got that softness, that vanilla, that lactose up front, sweetness. Goes back a little bit. That tart cherry kicks in. Um, I don't know if I would say cherry. It kind of mixes like... You get that vanilla lactose sweetness up front, then middle of the palate, like a tangy fruit gets in there, but then it's like it all mixes up, goes down. I get, I would probably say cherry, like a very light cherry vanilla sweetness in there. There, I'm getting something in the back. I don't know if it's just like a fermented fruit or something. I I don't know. It's almost like a an old fermented fruit in the back. Whoa, this might change. There was a lot of chunks in there. I, 
fermented fruit, like that, that vanilla lactose sweetness is still there. Uh, some kind of fermented fruit. It, it's smooth like a milkshake, like that vanilla sweetness, smoothness. A little bitterness in back. I, I couldn't tell that this is cherry. Um, I'm going to have to go with a 3.5 on this one. Um, I, I like the base. I, I don't know if their base is the same for most of these or not, but they, they do that vanilla sweetness milkshake well, but I don't know what happened to the cherry. I don't know with it being almost two months old, if that came out or if I'm not picking something up. Um, so there's three tasting notes on the back. Um, vanilla sweetness, or no, creamy vanilla. I think I would have to go with tart fruit, then something sweet is what I would go with. Uh, luscious cherry, creamy vanilla, sweet citrus. I can see sweet citrus in that. Me? Hmm. I couldn't pick out that cherry. Yeah, so I would say I was one for three. But now looking at the back of this, I can see sweet cherry. But yeah, 3.5 out of five for me on this one. I I would rather have like that, that cherry vanilla come through. Um, and yeah, the vanilla does. It's just, I think they missed the mark with the cherry on this one. So... Uh, one of my friends checked it in three out of five. Uh, almost 900 people, 3.83 out of five. So I'm kind of in the middle of both of them. Uh, cherry, vanilla, hoppy, sweet, bitter. I can kind of see the bitterness, and I'm wondering if they're trying to play that bitterness as a citrus rind, even though it said, what did it say, sweet um, in there. Let's see. Yep, they didn't. Uh, let's check all, if you've been following me, you know how this is going to go. Pretty much nobody says a word. Cherry is dominant. Huh. Maybe more cough syrup cherry in there. I can't read that language. Um, cherry more than vanilla, pretty sweet. That's weird. Huh. Yeah, I guess I'll have to watch some other reviews. I do not get cherry in this one. But, hey, it is what it is. Thank you to Hot Butcher for sending this. If you enjoyed this review, check out some more over here. And until next time, cheers.